So I'm sitting here, presumably about to give me give myself a shot. It is a Amovig um, auto injector. It's to help prevent migraines. I've been having a migraine every day for uh, over a month, I think, at this point. I think three months, um, on and off. And I've had a continuous tingling sensation in my head constantly since the beginning of the month. That could have been a, a medication. My doctor even said that was possible. Um, and they took me off that medication. Of course, Oscar has to get up here. Get down! Um, anyway, I have to give myself a shot and I'm sitting here freaking out. Because auto injectors are a big symbol of um, medical trauma for me. Um, I might talk about that later on. But... I'm going to try to give myself this medication. Um, hopefully I don't freak out and chicken out because it's been out of the refrigerator for almost an hour at this point. You're supposed to leave it out for at least 30 minutes before you give it, itself, give it to yourself. I waited a little bit longer. Um, and I also wanted my house to be asleep. So everybody in the house is asleep or they're at work. So this is what the auto injector looks like. I don't know why my camera is making it backwards, but it's... Amovig, I think is how you say it. It's a really pretty color. You take out this and then you push it to your skin and pull the trigger. I've watched several videos of it. Some were making it look incredibly easy. Others were having trouble with it injecting. So I'm curious to know if I'm going to be strong enough to push the trigger button to do this injection. Um, I would be so much more happier to do a self-injection where I actually had to draw up the medication and physically put the needle in my skin. Um, because I wouldn't have to be sitting here dealing with an auto injector. I hate auto injectors. To kind of give you a little bit of information and backstory. I used to take Humira as a child and that medication burned for one. But um, my medical trauma started when I was a kid because I just didn't have any say over my medical of anything. Um, doctors didn't take me seriously. My parents were um, listening to the doctors and it was just a hot mess. And so... I wanted my doctors to give this medication to me. I was supposed to get it on the 30th of January. I was planning on taking it with me to get to my IVIG clinic when I got my IVIG so that they could give it to me there. Um, Oscar, can you please be quiet for a second? Um, but I ended up having a migraine that stopped me from going. Um, and I was already waiting um, after I got this. This was dispensed on the 18th and it is now July 1st. So it's been a while. And so I'm sitting here knowing I need to give it to myself and I'm taking it out of the fridge so I kind of have to give it to myself at this point or it's going to go bad. So I guess I'm going to start. I am going to have this over me when I give it so that you can get this view too. It's in the way but I don't have a better setup because I don't know what else would work. But Okay. So, if you're watching this because you're about to give yourself a shot or you've been prescribed this, there's a lot of other people out there that have made videos that make it so much look so much easier and um, aren't nervous. I recommend you find those videos and watch them because um, I'm really not teaching you how to do this. I am recording myself to help my um, nervousness and so that my cat keeps trying to destroy everything. Um, I'm recording myself to help with my nervousness and also to um, be able to document my journey of, you know, overcoming some. I'm trying to overcome this fear. Um, I did want to give, I did want this to be given by a doctor, but unfortunately, um, I'm running out of time. I want to give it to myself as soon as possible, um, preferably I guess before my IVAG, not the day of, so it has some chance to work. Okay. I don't know if this is a good shot or not. I can't really totally tell, but it should be. Oh, I'm so nervous. Again, if you're nervous, I'm probably not the person to be watching. So, and I'm not even cleaning myself correctly. When you're cleaning yourself, you should start at the middle of where you're going to give it and then go out. I never go back in because it kind of apparently recontaminates the area. Something I'm afraid of is that I'm going to push the plunger and it's not going to inject. Um, because I've seen videos where that happens sometimes. And I guess maybe they're not pushing it hard enough. Or they're not pushing the thing on their skin hard enough. I just know I really don't want to do this.
Once I take this thing out, I can put it back in, I think, but it's already been in a refrigerator, so I have to really give myself it. So I'm supposed to take this and press it to my skin. Okay, so there's not very much. Oh, there's other ones, weird. See? I did it and I... My heart starts beeping really fast now. Because I pressed the button. And it did what it did to other people. I don't know how hard you're supposed to press it, but I pressed it and it... They should really not make this that hard to do it. Because I can guarantee you my heart is way over 100 beats per minute right now. And I really don't want to sit there and like hold it and press it a million times and not know and be kind of surprised when it gives it to me. Does that make sense? Because when you're pressing it, you should think, assume that it's going to give it to you and it doesn't. I'm shaking y'all. It doesn't even say anything on here about how hard to press it. Firmly push down the auto injector into the skin until it stops moving. When you are ready to inject, press the purple start button. You will hear a click. I didn't hear a click. I think the only positive thing about auto injectors is that if the medication burns, you don't have to sit there pushing it manually torturing yourself the device is torturing yourself for you that's the only positive thing i can see so i'm going to go ahead and clean my skin again okay i'm going to wait for it to dry it burns because of that scratch on my leg and there's not i know on the there's one auto injector for migraines that has a a safety on it this does not have a safety on it i don't know if i can do this well it's a good thing i've been here for less than six minutes and i was talking for a good portion of it so if I've already like put it down on my skin and press the button at that point, that's pretty good. So I see most people push it down like that and they, I guess you could hold the skin tight, but I've never done a shot like that. I've always pinched it and you can pinch it, but I'm seeing that pinching it and keeping a good pinch is hard. I need to let the baby in. Okay, I need to hurry up because I'm going to dry the medicine out if I don't hurry. I know that I needed all these alcohol wipes for a reason, that's why I got so many. Am I in a good area again? Okay, here it is. Oh, I did it. It hurt. Not as bad as I was expecting, I kind of um, let up a little bit, but I didn't completely take it off my leg. And I get myself a nice pretty princess band-aid. Oh y'all. Yeah. See my hand shaking? <laughs> It does not feel good, but it's not as bad as I was expecting. I can't believe I did that by myself. Okay, I think I'm going to get my heating pad out. Um, my leg kind of feels a little funny. I can't decide if that's because of the injection or nerves. It's probably a mixture of both. The site is a little tender. Um... So I feel like I kind of want to rub it around. I don't know why that helps, but it does. I guess it's like when you're patting your stomach. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I can't believe I did that. I'm super excited. My leg does hurt, but not too bad. I gave myself a shot. And it's not even that I gave myself a shot. I just went through so much crap to do that mentally. And I get to tell my therapist about this tomorrow. I'm super excited. Hopefully this damn thing helps. Hopefully. I know I don't get to find out really for three months. I think that's how long it takes to find out. But um, I'm interested to seeing if my tingling sensation goes away over time. Um, because I don't know if it's a migraine or if it's something else. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. 
So fair warning, I'm exhausted. Um, I would be asleep, but I am waiting to be able to call my doctor's office. They are at lunch. And so I need to call them today so I can make sure that that gets done. So I decided that I'd do this. My experience with the shot was okay. Um, giving the shot was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I think that's because I had previously given myself the B12 injections. Um, and I think like previously when I was doing that, I didn't think that I was really battling a lot of anxiety and trauma with that one. I thought it was mainly the fact that I just had to stab myself myself. Um, but I think it was more like a lot of trauma too. Um, I will say that the B12 injection was not the first shot I've given myself. I, I actually gave myself shots when I was younger. Um, I think I started when I was eight and I did it for a while and then stopped. I, I would turn my refrigerator off normally. I kind of pause it while I'm talking, but it's got medication in it, so I can't right now. Um, so sorry if that's loud. But biggest things with Amovig, I haven't really seen any big benefits from it. Um, my migraines are not any better. The tingling in my head is not any better. I'm actually going to be getting an MRI soon. I think it's scheduled for the 8th of October um, to see if there's anything like with my head that's causing the migraines. Part of me doesn't really think that some of my symptoms are migraine symptoms, but that's that's a different conversation. It's going to be doing up my head, I believe, but I know my my part of my neck and my spine because the, the numbness and tingling is just horrible. Um, and we don't really know what's causing it. It's been a symptom that I've had for probably about two years now, I think. Maybe maybe a year or something. I don't really know exactly because I wasn't doing bullet journaling at the time. And so I, I'm bad at like trying to gauge time. But I know it's been at least a year. Um, it was every day starting um, August, I think, that I was getting it. And so that's what I was talking about in the video. I don't know if I edited that out or not, but lots of injection site reactions. Um, I got a little red. My leg kind of felt weird. I don't know how else to explain it besides my leg felt weird and it was painful. I had to use a heating pad because it was pretty bad. Eventually my, I think it was my left arm, but one of my arms started hurting really bad. My hypertension got worse. Um, tachycardia was a big issue. About two hours after they shot, I was like, super anxious, which is apparently a fun side effect that you can get from the medication um, that I did not know about. I was awful. It was so bad. It lasted for hours. I went to sleep and woke up still feeling like it. Thankfully, I had therapy the next day because it, it was just so, so bad. I ended up giving myself the shot again a second time, and I didn't get the anxiety like I did, but I did get injection site reactions. I was very shaky and I had a lot of muscle spasms after it. I think I had that the first time. Um, I, I know about the shakiness, I'm not sure if I had the muscle spasms, but um, yeah, I, I don't really think the shot's working for me and the side effects that I get are kind of concerning because I do feel like my POTS gets worse after I give myself the shot for a few days, which it can make hypertension and tachycardia worse, so making my POTS worse makes sense. So I'm so excited that I was able to give myself the shot. Um, I'm thinking about switching um, my migraine neurologist to just my standard neurologist because I finally did get a neurologist that's really good. I'm currently seeing a pediatric neurologist for my migraines and I'm thinking about just switching over to my other one so I only have one neurologist. I think that'd be easier and I really don't think this guy is too invested in trying to help me. Um, because I did want to look into make sure that there weren't something else going on because I do know that I have migraines. My migraines have gotten tremendously worse since I started IVIG and I need to talk about that with my IVIG doctor um, soon. But I'm getting this numbness and tingling in my brain and my head um, and everybody's just like tacking it on the migraines and I'm getting all these other symptoms and they're just tacking it on the migraine. The pediatric doctor was not in anywhere near con interested in looking for other things and not by looking I just mean like ruling out I want to make sure other things are ruled out so that we actually know that we're treating the right thing um because I've de dealt with issues where people say it's this and then you find out later it's not and then you wasted all this time that you could have been doing something else and sometimes treatment for one thing is horrible for the other thing so I am getting an MRI I think I mentioned that I can't remember it'll be the eighth and it's of my head I believe I know it's about my spine, but I think she's doing the head too. Um, hopefully we can figure out what it is. If it is migraines, okay, I guess, but like, 
if it is migraines, hopefully we find a treatment that actually works because the ammo vigor now is just not cutting it. And I doubt doing one more month is going to be a big difference. I have the shot is coming up in a few days now, so I don't know if I'm going to give it to myself or what yet. There is a infusion for migraines that I want to try that I need to talk to my doctor about because I think it's every three months and I already have a port so I might as well use it. And you know, doing a, an IR infusion every three months is a lot better than a shot every month. Hopefully we figure it out because I'm, I'm losing my patience. Yeah, I'm super excited that I was able to give myself the shot and yeah, bye.